Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for uh, giving these opportunities uh, for Shifra Gardens to share the uh, products and uh, information of knowledge uh, to the audience. Um, there are two products that I'm, uh, I would like to introduce uh, to the uh, audience here. Uh, first one is the SGX, the second one is the new SGX. So these are products uh, uh, under Shifra Gardens. Well, Shifra Gardens are based, both products are based on uh, active uh, compound. Um, we extracted uh, from Aerotermite uh, Tisicacus uh, nest. So uh, these uh, uh, nests are very special so we have uh, identified uh, which compound which will give the activity of the both products. Uh, the glycoproteins are structures are very complex. So they have the uh, carbohydrate groups, they are the polysaccharide groups, and then they have the polyamino acid groups. So together they are called glycoproteins. Um, although they are extracted from the same uh, raw materials, however, they have a different um, uh, property. Uh, acting to the proteomic maps that we, uh, we did, so they have a different molecular weight <coughs> as well as a different charge. And thus, they are able to spread through uh, the entire uh, protein membranes. Uh, we have identified quite a number of compounds. All these are based on the glycoproteins identifications. Uh, we, are, we are not stopped here, we still continue uh, to explore uh, the unique property of uh, each of the glycoprotein, as well as the combinations uh, in order to give uh, uh, the best uh, wellness uh, for uh, humankind. So the first product, SGBX, uh, has the, we discovered it. Uh, this product has the anti cancer uh, property. Uh, we run through uh, scientific uh, data and uh, we, uh, we study the effect of uh, these extracts on, on cancer cells. This cancer cells is derived from uh, breast cancer. So the breast cancer uh, we derive and then uh, we do uh, cell culture laboratory tests. Test it against the various concentrations of the extract. Uh, the, the results show, uh, even in a very low concentration of these extracts, they are able to do uh, the uh, uh, cause the toxicity to the cancer cells. Right? Uh, of course, uh, they also demonstrate um, a dose effect, which means if you increase the dosage of this uh, compound, feeding them to the cancer cells. The more and more cancer cells will die, and uh, that's what the uh, graph here showed. So after the four percent, uh, uh, the cancer cells were able to survive, remain in the in the experiments is uh, just around ten percent. Yeah, this is the uh, video clips that uh, we run, and above uh, uh, over here is uh, treated with the SGVX, the cancer cell treated with SGVX over here is the cancer cells in the control group which means we don't put in SGVX You can see the cancer cells over here, they multiply very fast as the characteristics you know from the cancer cells they are able to multiply to cover entire regions uh, of, uh, of the place and over here, the cancer cells are struggling, so they are suffering uh, the numbers uh, initially quite a lot and reduce after a few hours of treatments, and uh, at the end of the 96 hours, uh, we could see that most of the cancer cells are having the uh, apoptotic uh, effect, uh, meaning that they are not very well growing, multiplying, and they are suffering from the SGVX uh, treatments. So, this shows us that they have a very huge potential in terms of the anti cancer uh, uh, effect. Well, uh, the research, the R&D work doesn't stop there. Although we see a significance as cancer cells uh, reduce upon reacting with the SGVX. So we need to know what is the mechanism behind. How do they kill the cancer cells? Um, in scientific terms, uh, we have a term called apoptosis. Apoptosis is a programmed cell death, which means the SGVX are able to interact with the cancer cells Click start this program and like clicking a button, and this button is a program cell date on the cancer cells. And the cancer cells, when it's activated, this program, the cancer cells will die. So, how does the compound differentiate between the cancer cells, the 
tumor cells compared to normal cells. Uh, I think most of us know tumor markers. The cancer cells, they have a surface protein okay, called tumor marker. And these tumor markers are very unique because they only appear in the cancer cells but not in normal cells. So SGBX interactions also is very unique. They will interact uh, to the uh, tumor cells particles, they bind to it, and through these uh, bindings, they switch on the apoptosis pathway in the cancer cells. Apoptosis is a cascade event for the cancer cell to self destruct, a okay, self destruction without harming to other cells. That means SGBX is quite safe and it doesn't cause the side effect as other chemotherapy drugs do. Right, the second product I'm going to introduce is called New SGX. This is a product that uh, uh, applied proteins we identify are able to promote body parts and rejuvenation. What's mean by rejuvenation? Uh, our body is always run down with a lot of challenges the oxidative stress, the radiation from the sun, the chemical compounds, uh, uh, toxicity challenge. Thus, uh, this uh, glycoprotein. We are identifying whether they are able to help our human body, human organ, human tissue to regenerate, rejuvenate. And uh, these interactions are through the stem cells. Okay. And uh, through the experience in this exhibition, we noticed that stem cell work actually is very sensitive in this region. But back in Asia, it's not. But in Asia, uh, we have a uh, uh, shampoo to activate stem cell, we have so much of things. Activating stem cells, having good things in stem cells without scientific evidence. So, I've been in stem cells research for the past 10 years, and uh, that's really misleading. So, over here, we want to demonstrate whether the glycoprotein extractor in SGX are able to improve the stem cell activity and thus to give human body parts a rejuvenation. So, let me illustrate a little bit more about what the stem cell role in our human body. So, in the daily events, we will have challenges usually caused by the sudden radiations, oxidative stress, you have stress, the boss gives you stress, so these are all stress, as well as the toxic chemicals from the pollution, okay, from the air, from the water, from the food. These all chemical compounds cause damages to the cells. Right? So, these are cells that are still healthy, but these cells are having damage, right? How, how do they uh, uh, recall or how do they call the stem cells to help them? So the stem cells is always at the, at the bottom of the tissue, if on the skin, the, the inner part of the skin. So when they receive the SOS from these damaging cells, so they will get activated. So this is a normal process happening in everybody in this hall. Okay? If you have an injury, the stem cells will be called okay, to activate, to proliferate, and to replace the dying cells. So this is a normal process. Well, when we look at the new SGX with the stem cells uh, uh, repair mechanisms, so the ability of stem cells to do is uh, a lot of potentials. These are still in the study, and uh, scientists are very uh, excited to come into this line because uh, the stem cells are able to treat a lot of diseases that at the moment uh, the modern medicine are still struggling to, to deal with. So they have from the brain, until the heart, until the kidneys, and everywhere uh, of the body. Right. <clears throat> yes, experiment that we illustrate how the new SGX are able to help the cells to repair faster. Initially, if you see, there's a uh, there's an injury that we created. Okay. There's an injury that we created. These injuries we purposely created and cause fresh acid. We make the injury, for example, like we simulate it as a cut on the organs as well as on the skin. And we want to see how fast the cells are able to grow to repair the damages okay, or fill up the gaps. So we do the video clips. You have to follow the videos quite fast, otherwise you will miss. Over here is the treatments, over here is the control groups. You can see at the treatment groups the cells grow very fast, recover, cover up the, uh, 
deletions. And the cells from here are, are a lot. Okay. What does it mean compared to these groups? It means these new SGX is helping the cells to recover the body parts to repair without leaving any scar tissue. So this is how they are able to do the rejuvenation. Over here are those they able to close. However, the cells are still very far apart. Okay. They're leaving some space in between them. Which means this injury is not fully covered, recovered and it's always uh, uh, easier to get a second injury. Okay. Well, every day in life we are exposed to oxidative stress. So when we run these experiments, we, we use a, a chemical compound called carbon peroxide to challenge the cells. So after we change the cells, we put in the new SGX with the different concentrations. But you see here, even in the very low concentrations, new SGX are able to help the cells, okay, to protect the cells from oxidative stress. Alright, so where is new SGX coming? So they will accelerate the repair process uh, uh, introduced by the stem cells. So over here, they will help the stem cells to multiply faster and do repair the damages. Right? So which means when the individuals are taking the new SGX through the intestine that absorptions go through the blood circulation, going away, reach every part of your body system, and they are able to do the repair. This is how they help the body to rejuvenate. With the rejuvenation, which means this compound has a very high potential for anti-aging. A human being will become aged, become old, because the number of stem cells in the body is reduced, continuously reduced. By having this, they were able to maintain, even increase the stem cells, thus were able to help the body to, uh, uh, to reverse the aging. Okay, in conclusion, we introduced these two products, and uh, we are very happy that uh, we have a partner here to take up these two products. SGBX for any cancers, uh, property as well as uh, the new SGX uh, to promote uh, a human body parts and rejuvenation. I think that's all for my sharing. Thank you.